Good afternoon. It looks like it's two o'clock already, my end. So you know what time it is. It's time for the online prosperity uh, lunch and learn with your host, yours truly, Prosper Tauravinga. I hope you've had a fantastic week so far. We are one day towards finally, or oh, is it Friday? Okay, um, yeah, as you guys know, every single day, every working day, we sit around for 30 minutes, um, you know, discussing how you can market, scale, and grow your business so that your business is profitable and enjoyable, okay? I'd like to welcome you to this edition of the Lunch and Learn, where we're going to be talking about a lot of people think they don't have time for marketing, okay? And I would want to let you know that you might be a little bit wrong because naturally all you only need is 20 minutes a day to actually do a bit of marketing and i'll be explaining to you the things that you actually need to do 20 minutes every single day now i know that you know the goal for every digital entrepreneur like yourself hey detri how are you going thank you so much for tuning in um the goal for every um digital entrepreneur like yourself is to actually get more clients and customers, right? And you want to generate more revenue for your business and you want to grow that business, all right? And I assume that that's the main reason why you are hustling and doing everything that you possibly are doing um, in order to achieve that goal. But the biggest question that I ever come across from people is, how do you achieve that goal? How do you actually get those clients? How do you get people to buy from you? How do you even business, you know? And, um, you know, what is it that you should do in order to scale and grow your business, etc., etc.? Guys, all you need is love and a little bit of oomph, okay? That's, that's pretty much all I can say. All you need, guys, is actionable marketing strategy, that you can execute 20 minutes a day is more than enough, all right? The reason why we are always treading and spinning our wheels is because we do not have focus or a goal or we do not have the actionable strategies that are supposed to be working right now. Yesterday, if you were watching, I came up with the statement that we are now living in what's called the social prosperity era. The social prosperity era is the era just that that just comes in maybe uh, pretty much after the you know the information edge in the last five years the biggest mantra that people were talking about was content is king content is king content is king and guess what happened there was now an influx of content on the market every person and their dog has a podcast Every person and their dog has a blog. Every person and their dog has a YouTube channel. Who is watching who and who is listening to who? I mean, that's a scarcity mindset, but there's so many people out there that are doing pretty much the same thing that the content pool is so full right now. People now need somebody to help them decipher that content into actionable strategies and procedures. This is where now social prosperity comes into play. You become the person that helps people understand all that content and information that they already have in their heads. All right, Trish, how are you going? And I see Mary has just joined in. Okay, you have to help people understand and comprehend all the information they have been consuming and you just need to be that person that helps them understand. If you're going to be standing at that vantage point, guys, I assure you, you are already ahead of the totem pole, of the whole crowd. Everybody's out there trying to create content. You just stand in front of those people and decipher and break down that content into manageable and actionable strategies. That, my friend, is going to change the total game, and that's what social prosperity is all about. You become the linchpin into getting people to understand what they have been consuming. How much of a difference will you make in people's lives? All right? Because the whole four or five years, people have been consuming, consuming, consuming. 
If you take that content to be some sort of uh, milk powder, everybody is full up to here with that powder. If you're the water that then turns that powder into edible and drinkable milk, won't people want to just go straight to you because you're the water that makes that powder into something edible? Be water, my friends. Be water, right? But how are you able to do that now? How are you able to cut through the noise and still keep sane and also produce and be found by those people that are so full with information and all you're doing is just helping them understand? Rachel, how are you doing, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in. And Trish, thank you so much for tuning in. All right? Does this all make sense, guys? Are you guys understanding what I'm trying to say? People have been so saturated with content. You have to become the person that helps them understand what they now know. Okay? And once you do that, you need to figure out how you can do that in a sustainable way that will keep you rocking and you delivering your message to the people that really want to hear it. Okay? So, like I was saying, you think you might not have time for marketing. All you need, guys, is just 20 minutes a day, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right? Yes, you are so right. Time to be content guide. Exactly. Rita, thank you so much for putting that word uh, into my mouth. Okay? So, how are we going to be doing that now to marshal people out of that content saturation into a realm of them now understanding what they have been gathering? Okay, the difference is how you're going to present yourself to the people because everybody is just saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. This is what I've got. I've got the latest new and shiny. All right. But you are now standing there saying, you know what? This is how you use the new and shiny. Who are they going to listen to more? Have you noticed on the market right now, people are being paid to to receive um, other people's books. I'll pay you $20 to receive this book. You definitely need it. That's more content that's been thrown back into the content box. The market now needs you and me um, to, you know, decipher that content and condense it in such a way that we package it into little nibbles that people can now actually use it into actionable strategies, ticks and trips that people can use to actually function. There's so much content out there. We now need to be the content connoisseurs that does, takes, takes it out and then put it out there. And that's where social prosperity is now taking over. And how are you then going to position yourself as that person who can package that message into an already skeptical audience so that they hear you, they see you, and they follow your lead? That's where you want to be right now. So, like I'm saying, you know, if you think you don't have time for personal branding or putting yourself out there, then you are actually missing the whole concept. All you need is pretty much plus or minus 20 minutes a day and you're done. People are now so saturated with content. Don't keep plugging it in. Help them understand what they already know. Because everybody knows stuff. If anybody doesn't know anything, they can simply Google it. But people don't know how then to implement it. And if you're the person that's going to take them from where they are, content saturation, to actual practical use of that content, what does that make of you? You become a socially prosperous entrepreneur. This is the era I'm ushering you guys into, guys. Social prosperity era. All right. So what you then now do is pretty much use your personal brand and all you do is 15 minutes a day is more than enough to get to actually understand what these people are going through, where they've learned that information from and get to actually understand what they need. People don't need an extra book. People don't need an extra course. People need practicality. So if you can figure out how to deliver that practical information, they get to know, like, and trust you, all right? And everything that you then say automatically feels like it's, wow, I, was, I knew that already. You know why? Because they've been in consumption mode, all right? If you want to be ahead of the curve, become socially, the, the socially uh, prosperous person, all right? 
you know, I was listening today, uh, somebody was talking about um, an analogy that they were talking about between a doc, a surgeon, a medical surgeon and a car mechanic. Both of them, if you really look at it, both of them, they fix engines. One fixes the human engine, the other one fixes a car engine. All right. So why is it that the surgeon gets paid 10 times more than the, you know, the car engineer? It's because the surgeon works on the engine while it's still running. The car mechanic does not, you know, has to switch off the engine and turn it apart or take it apart. So people are moving parts within this whole ecosystem. They are so saturated with content. If your business is the one that is helping them now decipher and use that information into practical, uh, you know, tricks and tips or whatever it is, you become the person that they go to and you get paid 10 times more than people that are just throwing out content out there. It's time to sort of change the way things is done and your marketing and your personal branding should be brought into play when you're doing this. And some people are saying, oh, I don't have my, I don't have time to do that. All you need is 20 minutes a day. And guys, marketing is like exercising, exercising, you know what I mean? The difference between, you know, you doing nothing and doing it every single day, it makes a huge difference. You lift those heavy things every single day, maybe 10, 15 times a day. It, it actually makes a huge difference. Ray Ring, thank you so much for tuning in. And Matt, great, glad to see you here, man. All right. So, you know, over how do you allot those 20 minutes? Okay. So it then depends on what it is that you're actually doing. Some people, you, you've got 24 hours within your day. That is something that we can, um, you know, you can figure out where you want to place the, the marketing realm because it's how you're going to be putting yourself in front of people. All right. Choose things that you can possibly do. And most of the stuff that you cannot do, you can always outsource. Fiverr is, you know, you know, giving people a chance to become rich by, you know, offering $5 jobs. Or if you've got the money to outsource a lot more, then you can get, um, you know, um, more preferred providers. All right. So how you then allocate, that's a story for another time. Rick says good stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, over the last um, month or so, when I've been really trying to craft my message um, about this whole social prosperity thing, about actually helping people by actually helping them. Everybody else on the market is saying, oh, come to my webinar or come to this so that I can show you something. Um, obviously, there's a lot of stuff like that going on on the market. You should literally just help people by helping them. There's so much information on the market right now or on the internet. If you're not going to prove your, your, your worth to somebody else, how are they going to know that you're the person that can save them or help them? All right. So in just over the last month, Ray Ring says, make it a priority. Sales have to be a priority. Uh, good call in five. Of course, because some people are being romantic about the jobs that, you know, spend most of your time and, and you could literally do... You know, you could literally, okay, this is how I've, I've worked it out. Figure out how much your day is worth, how much you want to get paid. Sometimes you'd realize that uh, some of the jobs that you're doing only are worth $5 instead of you when concentrating on the jobs that pay you $1,000, okay? Because what I've realized in all this, you know, digital marketing space is the same energy that you use to close a hundred dollar deal is the same energy that you use to close a hundred thousand dollar deal. It's what you prioritize that matters. All right. So if you're going to spend time trying to doodle down a logo or whatever, when you can just give somebody to do that for $5, have you not freed up that portion of your day to actually do things that matter? All right. So you really need to consider that. And it only just takes, you know, 20 minutes to look at the things that are really important to solidify your own social presence. The reason why a lot of people are getting it wrong is because I'll tell you an analogy. All you need to know to create a, a strong brand is your message. All right. And it's going to a specific market. The media on how you're going to reach those people can vary and can be different. All right. If you've got a specific message 
and it's going to a specific market. All right, you can be on Twitter, on YouTube, or whatever. As long as people know that you're speaking to them about a particular thing, they would stop to watch. But what we're doing is exactly what was happening in, 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 in the old traditional days where people were being romantic about radio ads. But okay, let's say you're given that 15 second slot. What are you going to tell the people and who are you going to, I mean, who are you going to talk to and what are you going to tell them? So Facebook ads is pretty much plus or minus like a radio ad. If you've got a radio ad and you cannot speak to the people that need to hear your message, that's a wasted time. And a lot of people are not looking at it in that particular periphery. If your message is not reaching a market, there's no need for you to be doing any Facebook ads. You know, in over the last month, I've just connected with, say, three entrepreneurs that stuck with me. I talked to a lot of people um, throughout and Ray Ring, thank you so much, man, for the praise. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You know, and, and there's entrepreneurs that they've told me that they really you know, did any marketing for themselves or for their small business. You know what I mean? I was really surprised. You know, you know, one, one was a freelance writer and I think the other one owns a PR agency and the other one runs a, um, you know, a software firm. All they were being romantic about was the process of their business. And they were not bringing anyone to their business because they were not marketing themselves. I mean, obviously, each, each and every one of them was successful, but, you know, all of them just cited that they had a lack of time. That was the main reason why they were not doing any marketing. You have the time. Look at the things that you should be doing that are putting your business forward. Is, you know, writing emails or looking at other people's emails helping your business. If it's not, chuck that. Concentrate on things that are actually going to help your business going further. Ray says, I should be giving you the praise. Love this show it makes us all stronger. Thank you so much, man. You know, they're not alone. A lot of people are neglecting the marketing side of things and they want to perfect their, 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 their um, what do you call it? They want to perfect their product. But how is somebody going to know what you do if they don't even know that you exist? It takes up to six times for somebody to actually start looking at your stuff. They have to see your things at least six times. That's the reason why McDonald's... Hey, Jeremy, man, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is why McDonald's and Coca-Cola are always advertising to you. At least you got to see their stuff six times so that you buy a Big Mac or you buy a Coca-Cola. You know, and I've been reading a lot of stuff. And according to, I don't know if you know Infusionsoft... Nearly one in every five uh, small business owners has no plan to use any digital marketing this day and age. You know, and, and those that are actually using that, 49% of them actually handle the marketing on their own. Which is how people actually come into your business. And if you're not looking specifically at that part, you're missing out. You know, I, I always argue with people, you know what I mean, that... Guys, ignoring marketing is, is like, in the long term, it's a really bad idea. Every single day that you do not show up, like I said, people need to see you six times. Every single day you do not show up in their periphery, out of sight, out of mind. You're going to have to start the clock back again and have to be seen six times yet again. How much time, money, and effort have you got and resources have you got to continuously start that clock for that person every single time? Because it's not that every time somebody sees you, they're already, um, you know, ready to jump on or they're already ready to, to, to work with you. Some people need to sniff you out a little bit, compare their notes with other people. You know what I mean? Yeah, showing up is half the battle. Because people need to see you minimum six times. If you're going to be putting ads out there, they have to see that ad a minimum six times. Now, have you got deep pockets for people that, okay, they've seen the ad, and when they do come to your pages or whatever it is you're selling them, have you got collateral to convince them a lot more to then leave their email address? It's no longer very, you know, it's no longer enticing to give people, oh, yeah, just get my blueprint. People don't need that. This doesn't mean anything to them if I don't explain what it is to them. 
That's why the social prosperity edge is now very vital for people to actually really, you know, you know, start caring about the people that are going to be giving them money. You know, my job especially is to help people start scale and grow a business. Those are people's hopes and dreams that I have at the palm of my hands. Now, who am I? To just not show up for those people who want to put their word and their business out there. That's one thing you should really figure out. What is it that you're doing for other people that is going to make such a difference? So you got to start by sort of brainstorming. Figure out, are you being present there for people or are you just being, you know, a wandering generality? This is the social prosperity era, guys. And if, if you're not showing up even 10 minutes a day, you are not that busy. You are busy concentrating on jobs that are not meant for you. You're busy concentrating on, on looking at other people's emails. They're just giving you their own agenda. Thank you so much, Ray. I'm really, I'm really impressed with you, man. Yeah. You know? So you need to plan your day around how you do marketing every single day. I have this talk scheduled every single day. If you look at my schedule, I'll, I'll take a screenshot of this and put it in the, in the comments. I have my life scheduled and there's no compromise, no call, no, not anyone is going to come in between me talking to you guys every single day at 2 p.m. AEST. Because I care enough to make sure that I'm providing value and I'm there. And every single day I'm asking you questions prior the night before so that I know what to talk about tomorrow. I'm not just spraying and praying with this marketing. Lindsay, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. Do you know what I mean? You might be trying to get more leads, establish authority with your niche or may maybe attract more customers. It requires being present. People are not just going to follow a one-click wonder. There's so many people out there on the internet. I mean, these days, if you've got a laptop and a pair of sweatpants, you're an entrepreneur. You know, so how are you going to be cracking through the noise? And especially after cracking through the noise, how are you going to help people understand the content that is already flooded in the market by you coming up with your, you know, strategies that will help them understand what they already know? People now need somebody to buy from you know what i mean people now need somebody to trust people now need somebody who can help them decipher all that content they've been you know consuming throughout be that person be the water that then makes it all easy and understandable exactly you don't want to be a one-click wonder you know you know let's say there are certain blogs in your that your target audience is reading you know, it would just require a little time for you in the day to maybe put a comment on the articles, you know, share some on the social media, just provide some sort of value so that people really, really, really see what exactly they're missing out and how you can be of help. Money book millionaire say just shared your video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aswad, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, so instead of contributing to the whole content pool that's out there help people understand what it is that they've been you know deciphering and just show up for these people you know why that's the reason why have you noticed every time i see somebody uh posting that viral uh message that says oh when 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 beyonce puts out something or when jay-z puts out something everybody's running around everybody's supporting you know why because they are present for their people what are you doing as an entrepreneur to show people that you're going to be there for the long haul because because they know that beyonce is going to continuously deliver they know that kylie jenner is going to continuously deliver because if they buy something from you how do they know that if that thing doesn't fit them, they can always find you to get their money back? How do they know that you're going to be there to help them with instructions later on if they don't understand anything? That's the reason why people are buying from established businesses and not buying from their friends because their friends are not committed enough. You need to show up at least 10 minutes a day. 
Even if you can't show up on a live like this, you can you can show up as a snippet. What do you call that? Facebook uh, stories or something like that. Just something. And Facebook is making it harder and harder for people to be poor these days. You know what? Every single day they're coming up with something new and exciting for you to connect with your, your people. In the social prosperity age, if you're not being seen out of sight, out of mind. So don't come and tell me you don't have time, but you're sitting there, you've got 500,000 emails that you're not even reading. Or if you start reading them, they take up much of your day. Unsubscribe from all that crud. You've got so much information inside of you right now. Start implementing. You know, just start with one marketing activity. Maybe you can commit to posting once a day on Instagram or you commit to posting once a day on Facebook. You know what I mean? Just there's, there's so much ways for you to show up. Yes, exactly. Social prosperity, man. You know what I mean? In the you, <laughs> take action. You know what I mean? In the beginning, just eliminate all the excessive options and just focus on one marketing channel and do one specific activity. Your clients are waiting for somebody to help them through. There's so much crud, unhappiness, diseases, all that yakety yak that's out there. Be water for them. Quench their thirst. Show up for them. Because you're going to want this lifestyle, all these holidays and, you know, uh, Lamborghinis or whatever. But if, if you're not respecting the people that are going to give you the credit cards to pay for those things, how is that going to happen? You know what I mean? So just focus on just one channel, um, you know, such as LinkedIn or, you know, a podcast. I think maybe Quora is also one other place. And just show that you are there for these guys, for your clients. Or maybe just being in Facebook groups, whatever floats your boat. You know, I've, I've seen some um, businesses that just primarily focus on an email newsletter to build dialogue with their target audience. Because if you ain't talking to them, how are you going to know how you're solving their problems? How are you going to know what pain they're going through? You know what I mean? So that small time that you're spending creating and relating, you've created enough. Start relating to the people that you're expecting to give you money. It's people like you and me. Are you just going to give somebody a credit card just because you saw a Facebook ad? People have now got what's called ad fatigue. How are you going to go past them having seen 500, 300, um, you know, um, ads every single day? How are you going to stand out? Bring them into your world and then just really start relating to them. Just one piece of thing a day. You know what I mean? There's no longer a one size fits all approach, guys. That, that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? You have to determine what marketing is actually working for you. And when you're seeing results, continue doing that. Scale up that marketing effort. Because if you, if you become, um, you know, a one-click wonder, people are not going to take you seriously. Right? Create that into a habit. Look at what's actually, you know, taking up much of your time and see if you really need it in your business. Take stock of what you're doing every single day. You'll notice that most of the time you're spending it, you know, maybe talking to people that don't even bring money to you. I've got a mantra in my uh, uh, business that I do not waste time on people that are not going to pay my family. All right? Not everyone is your customer. So once you have people that you relate to, show up for them. Respect them enough because they could be out there in the world and, and, and giving somebody else that attention that needs it. There's no longer that whole guru philosophy or I've got followers. These people are your friends. And if you're not showing up for them, then you don't respect them. How are you thinking they're going to respect you with their credit cards? And for you to, you know, foster this whole thing, reward yourself every single time you do a task. You know what I mean? For me, this lunch and learn, as soon as I finish, you know, I, I, I reward myself by, um, I actually pay myself for, for doing this lunch and learn. So figure out how you can reward yourself after you've achieved a particular milestone and you consistently dedicate your time to this. Because people will take notice. Do you know what I mean? It's not easy showing up every single day consistently like I do, but you know what? I respect you guys enough to make sure that I, I go with my pledge. 
So give yourself an opportunity to either test, you know, something new and boost what's already engaging your audience and then just try to reach out to them, guys. You know, with, with each achievement, you know, slowly scale and then before you know it, you're now doing marketing in a whole different, um, you know, level. Okay, so do you still have no time for marketing? No. Can you share a PDF of your day schedule and ideas? Yes, I'll, I'll definitely do that. I've got that. All right. So guys, marketing and like motivation is like exercising or taking a bath. You can't just do it once and think that it will stick. You know, because when you're then walking around there, people will notice that you stink, that you haven't taken a bath every day. Treat your marketing like you're taking a bath. And then you'll start noticing the difference between doing nothing and just a little bit of everyday small activities. It will culminate into something that will feed off in the end. Remember, people need to see you at least six times. So every time you stop being seen, you start again the cycle. And do you have the time, money and effort to keep starting the cycle with those people? I don't think so. So you still think you don't have time for marketing? I think you do. And if anyone is interested in checking out my program, like what Rick, Rick says, let's, let's do this. Type in blueprint and I'll show you exactly the blueprint that I'm using to build my business um, you know, into, into what I'm doing now. It's time to enter the social prosperity era, guys. I'm out here trying to help you. And if you guys really want this, let's step into this new era together. I really appreciate you guys, every single one of you guys. Much love.